do follow me in all my social media accounts and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hello everyone. Hi. Hi my 4 UPM. So today we are going to learn uh, unit 5 globe trotting. Okay. So this unit is about traveling, jalan-jalan, melancong. Okay. So do you like traveling? Where have you been? As for me, I've been to a few countries but my favorite so far is Taiwan. I like Taiwan because um, it is very clean, it's beautiful, and the tran the transportation system is awesome. <laughs> All right, so enough about me. Let's look at Unit Five. Okay, let's move on to page sixty eight. All right. Okay. Read. So this article is about Ed Stafford. Right, so he became the first person to walk the four thousand mile length of the Amazon from source to sea. Okay, so you have to read this article. Okay, and then you have to answer the question in exercise C. Right. Okay, read again and answer the questions. Choose A, B, C, or D. Okay, so this. These are the questions. So you have to choose the answers A, B, C, or D. Okay? Next. Okay. Exercise D. Find words in the text to complete the table below. Then, try to add a few more words to each category. Okay. So, there are four categories. Ada empat category. Geographical features. Okay. Ciri-ciri geography. Water creatures. Okay. Mahluk-mahluk air. Land animals. Uh, binatang di darat and bugs. Okay, bugs ni macam kumbang-kumbang, insects like that. Right? Okay, so you have to look for the words untuk empat kategori ni dalam artikel di atas ni. Okay, for example, geographical features adalah river, water creatures, crocodile, land animals, snake, bugs, fly. So, river, river, crocodile, snake and fly ni, it can be found in this article. So, korang kena cari lagi beberapa perkataan untuk lengkapkan uh, table ni. Okay? Right, next, we move on to page 70. Vocabulary. Okay, A. Complete the table with nouns that refer to people. Use the words in the box and a suitable suffix. Make any necessary changes. Okay, so dalam uh, box ni adalah um, perkataan-perkataan yang korang kena tukar menjadi people. Okay, for example, tengok ni travel kan. Travel ni dalam bahasa Melayu is um, uh, melancong. Okay, travel. So, bila kita nak tukar jadi orang, dia akan jadi... Traveller. Okay, so dia tambah ER. Okay, suffix ni adalah, kalau dalam bahasa Melayu, suffix ni is imbuhan. Like, mm, uh, contoh perkataan makan. Memakan. So, me is suffix. Ataupun dimakan. So, D is suffix. Imbuhan. Okay, so travel jadi traveller. Tapi, tak semua nouns ni kita boleh tambah with ER. Kadang-kadang kita kena tambah with OR ataupun IST. So, it depends mana yang sesuai. For example, visitor. Kita tak buat V-I-S-I-T-E-R. Pelawat atau pelancong. Okay, pelawat. Kita guna OR. The same with receptionist. Kita tak guna receptioner. Kita cakap receptionist. So, orang kena tengok mana yang sesuai. For example, art. Adakah dia art Ataupun artor Ataupun artis uh, So korang kena fikir Okay Let's move on to exercise B Complete the sentences With the correct form of the words In the boxes Okay So In this red box Is the answers for the question So you have to fill in the blanks Ikut kesesuaian Okay Okay Number 1 sampai number 18 Okay So sama je semuanya Alright Let's look at C Okay now, match the nouns on the left with the nouns on the right to form as many compound nouns as you can. Okay, compound nouns ni, dia adalah gabungan dua nouns. Okay, so dia akan jadi compound noun. Cuba tengok ni, um, contoh. A compound noun is a combination of two nouns, gabungan dua nouns that function as one word. The first noun defines the second one. For example, bus stop. So, a stop for buses. Okay, so bus stop tu bukan kita cakap bus berhenti. Tapi sebenarnya, it's a place. Dia adalah tempat uh, hentian bus. Okay, so that is compound, compound nouns. So, sekarang ni, you have to match number 1 sampai 8 ni kepada A to H. For example, forest. Okay, forest ni boleh gabung dengan which one? Is it forest guide, forest destination, forest resort, forest reserve, forest gear, forest fire, forest attraction, forest agency. So, you have to think. And maybe you have to do some research. Mana yang sesuai. Okay. So, I guess that is all for now. So, korang punya kerja adalah page 70, page 69, 
Okay, except for grammar. Grammar, we do it later. Grammar tak boleh buat. And page 68. 68, you have to read. Okay, so that's all for now. Um, I will share the answers in our next lesson. So, good luck and take care. Bye.